All right, we're going to talk a little bit more about easy order and compatible numbers. Compatible numbers are numbers that make 10, like 9 plus 1, 7 plus 3, 6 plus 4, 8 plus 2, 5 plus 5. That's it. That's all of them. We've talked about those in other videos, but let's jump in and look at what if I asked you to add these numbers in your head? Could you do it? When you look, you might say, oh, I got to line them all up and I got to go this way. But if you start looking for groups of 10, it'll make your life really, really easier. Easy, excuse me. And you know what? You should look for the way, the order to do it. Remember, in addition, order doesn't matter. So any way that's easy for you, that makes your life easy, you should do it in that order. Um, not all math problems are the same. So let's look here, see if we can see any. Well, this one is one right off the bat. You got a 9 and a 1. That gives you a group of 10. You've got a 6 plus 4 gives you 10. Now, you don't need any more groups of 10. You know, 5 and 3 is 8. So right there's your answer, 28. So 28 would be the answer to this. Not so bad when you have those groups of 10. How would you do this one? Be creative. Now, I might do it a different way than you would do it, but look around. Do you see groups you like, groups that make 10, 20s, 30s? I see some that's a little trickier, but I'm going to go for it here. Um, you might not see this right off the bat, but I know that 6 and 5 is 11, and I know 11 and 9 is 20. So that gives me, right off the bat, I'm looking for groups of 10, if that makes sense. I know that 7 and 3 makes 10. And then I just have two left, so I have 32, 32. Here's another practice one. How would you add this? Take a minute to look at it and just think about, take a guess of what the answer is. Don't grab pa paper and pencil. Any guesses? Well, let's look at some ways you might want to go about doing this, or you could try to go about doing it. Here's the way I see, like it's popping out in my mind. I see 8 and 7 is 15. Now, 15 and 5 is a nice, easy number. That's 20. Now, I know 8 and 2 is 10. That's a compatible. And I've got 9 left. So the answer, 39. Now, there's other ways to do that. Let's try this one. Do you see what it is in your head? Did you try 7 and 3 make 10? And 10 and 9 is 19? Pretty easy when you go in that order. Here's an easy one with two compatibles. Look closely. Six and four make a ten. Seven and three make a ten. Answer twenty. I hope you like this little lesson on compatibles and doing um, the easy order. Take the easy route. Don't do it the hard way. Do it the easy way, and math becomes fast. Not only that. It helps you get a better sense of the value of numbers and gets you to put numbers in their places.